Have you ever wondered how successful people achieve so much in such little time? Like what really makes the difference for them to be successful or unsuccessful? My name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and I'm here today to talk to you about the best morning rituals for successful high performing entrepreneurs. If you ever looked into morning rituals before, you see people like Grant Cardone, Oprah, Gary Vee, Mr. Robbins all have morning rituals that set them up for today. So what's the point of a morning ritual? A point of a morning ritual is not to just do something so that you hope to be successful. No, no, no. The point of a morning ritual is to actually be able to turn all circuits on within so that you can go out there and achieve so much in such a short period of time. I see so many people, what they do is they're playing defense on the day, right? Like things are coming at them and they're trying to handle and react to it versus being on offense. The point of a morning ritual is to turn all circuits on, but for you to be on offense and not defense. There's a huge difference there. See, most people think morning rituals are about how can we just accomplish more? Well, that's part of it. It's not all of it. That's how they see it. How I see it is it's actually to develop a mentality within you that breeds more confidence. See, when you turn on every day and you're playing offense each day, you start to shift your mentality from defense to offense. You're starting to be one of those people who start to separate themselves from the masses, right? And so when I think about what makes a successful individual it's what are their morning rituals but more importantly what's the intent behind the morning ritual right intention is huge so if you're going to set morning rituals you got to make sure that you have an intention behind what you're doing in those rituals now the first thing after coaching thousands of people around the world after doing 16,000 coaching calls the one thing I found with high performing entrepreneurs is most of them 80 plus percent of them they actually Actually wake up early now you might sit there and say Joe well I'm a night owl that's great you know we cater to what you do but remember the morning ritual is for you to turn all circuits on regardless of whatever time of the day it is but when you wake up in the morning however I personally with all my successful entrepreneurs that I work with they all a lot of them tend to wake up early why because there's just this energy there's just this this feeling that you get when you wake up at three or four or five in the morning to start attacking your day. Now, the biggest mistake that most people make when they do their morning rituals is they actually pick up their phone first. And what does that do? That causes them to go into emails and text messages. It starts putting, putting out fires right away. Guess what? You're on defense automatically and you didn't even know it. So the high performing entrepreneurs that I work with, they not only wake up early, but they don't pick up this phone. They leave it in their room, they leave it in another room, they go into their morning ritual first. All right, so let's dive in and create some morning rituals, but I wanna share with you the habits of people like Oprah, Gary Vee, Grant Cardo, Mr. Robbins, we wanna tap into all of that, right? And so here's the thing, I always like to look at, there's four bodies that we must hit when we're working on our morning ritual. Well, you might say, Joe, what are those four bodies? Well, the first one is spiritual. Now you call it what you want, God, universe, higher power, creator, source, energy, nothing, whatever, but there's a spiritual sense that we wanna tap into each day. So for me personally, I love to pray each morning, but for some of you, you might just like to go into deep meditation. You might actually want to go and do some, you know, yoga, right? To really connect with yourself, to connect with your body. As I look here, some people I know I coach, they wake up, first thing they do is they read the Bible, right? Like, what is it for you? You gotta figure out what's gonna allow you to feel spiritually connected. Because again, we're trying to like plug in this circuit, like turn this circuit on in the spiritual body. So you gotta decide what's it gonna be for you. Next is not just the spiritual, but you gotta go into now the mental body. The mental body, you gotta get your head right for today. If you're gonna play offense, what kind of mindset do you gotta go into? See, I have a lot of people I work with that go and become professional athletes, right? And so they don't go into it with the mentality of, oh, I gotta beat that guy. They go into it with an offensive mentality of, that guy's gotta beat me. Right, And so you might think, oh, well, that sounds counterintuitive, but no, it's actually offense when someone has to beat you, right? Because you're saying, I'm the man, I'm the woman, I'm ready to get after this, let's go. It's based on me, all right? And so what are some of the things that we need to do for the mental body? 
Well, I personally, whenever I get interviewed on YouTube channels or even podcasts, I say the same thing. And I say with all my clients around the world is, you must feed your brain for 30 minutes or more every day. Why? Why would you wanna do that? Well, because we have 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day, and guess what? Most of them, they're just recycled thoughts. And so you're just gonna keep thinking the same thing. So we wanna inject some good stuff every day. And what I personally found is, it's usually the things that I listen to that day that I actually need when a problem or challenges arise, and I already have the tool or resource to do it. So we wanna feed our brain every day, and that includes audio and reading a book or something like that. But I would encourage you to get something that's based on your goals. See, so many people, they just pick up a book because they see someone post it on social media. You gotta ask yourself, what's my intention for reading this book, right? If I'm looking to learn marketing, I wanna read marketing books. If I'm looking to learn how to grow my YouTube channel, I'm gonna watch YouTube videos on how to grow a YouTube channel. You must be intentional about what you're doing to feed your brain. Also, meditation's a big one too. Right, And you might say, well, Joe, that was in the spiritual body. Well, some of these, they can kind of cross-pollinate, right? So I might meditate because I always like to say meditation is like a pond. All the answers that you need are at the bottom of the pond. It's just that in life, we get so busy. It's like we're kicking up all the dirt and it's being cloudy and we can't see the bottom. It's until we slow down and we calm the mind that we can actually be able to allow all things that are going on in our life to kind of drift away and settle. And that's when you can see the answers. That's when you can start. It's kind of like watching a million screens throughout the day on a TV, like this big movie screen, but when you meditate, it's like shutting each one off every second until you have only one channel on, and that might be to focus on your breathing. And so meditation's a huge one for the mental body. Also, visualization's powerful. When I work with my athletes that are going pro, the biggest thing that we incorporate is visualization and getting really crystal clear on what that looks like and feeling what it feels like when they're accomplishing their goal. Because the unconscious mind can't tell the difference between are you visualizing it or is it actually playing out in the external world? And since the unconscious mind controls about 90 to 99% of us, I wanna influence that as much as possible in reaching my goal, right? And if you think about it, your unconscious mind, you're like, well, is that true? Well, just think about this. You're not thinking about your heart beating, right? You're not consciously making a beat. You're not thinking about your eyes blinking so that your eyes don't dry out. That's your unconscious mind. And so we wanna influence that as much as we can to achieving our goals and tapping into that in our morning ritual is extremely powerful, all right? Next is your emotional body. And this is so important, guys, because I, I know there's been times where I've woken up and I kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Anyone out there like me woke up on the wrong side of the bed before? Absolutely. But how do you turn it around? You're intentional on how you want to feel. You got to get clear on what are the emotions that you want to experience throughout the day, right? Maybe that's confidence, it's power, it's love, it's care and curiosity, right? And so one of the exercises I love to do though is gratitude. I love to step into gratitude that first thing in the morning because it kind of like, it turns the heart on. And I write out sometimes what I'm grateful for or I speak it out, right? Because when you speak it, and we'll talk about this here in a minute, it's so much more powerful when you say something versus when you think something. So I like to speak what I'm grateful for. And I start off with all the big things, you know, like shelter and, you know, family. But then I get down to the small things like the uh, the enzymes in my body that break down things into waste, right? So it doesn't clog me up and kill me, right? And so anyway, what are you grateful for? I love to go through gratitude. The other thing is to put me in a great state is music. Like I have a playlist. I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there. They have a playlist that turns them on when it's time to get in state and to go after it. Mr. Robbins has his playlist that he goes through every morning. I know um, I know when he turns that on, whether it's for meditation or to get into a different state to turn on to get after it for the day, that playlist is there. And I have one. I have a, what on Spotify, I write pump up music. And whenever I find a song that turns me on, I like, man, I've added in there. I put it in the queue too. So what is it for you emotionally? The fourth body is physical body. Now you might be thinking, oh, well that's working out. 
You got it spot on. I know Grant Cardone, one of the first things he likes to do is go get a workout and move his body, right? I'm the same way. That's one of the first things that I like to do is wake up and move my body, especially having a strong workout. And so that's part of it, but also your nutrition. So what do you take in first thing in the morning, right? I know a lot of successful entrepreneurs, they go to alkaline their body right away, a lemon in their water or even a green juice, right? They go and get a green juice, a green drink so that they can start pouring into their body some healthy stuff so that they have the energy to be able to get after it and the mental energy and clarity to get after it for the day. So not only is it your workouts, but also your nutrition. Next is breathing. Some people I know, they like to do breathing exercises to turn the brain on right we want to turn all these circuits on so breathing in at a shorter shallower pace or frequency is important so if I was to breathe in for one second exhale for a second in for a second out so it's like right like that starts to bring more oxygen to the brain but if I was doing an evening routine and we'll talk about an evening routine in another video but in an evening routine I would go through a breathing pattern that is more of like a four seconds in and then six to eight seconds out right a longer exhale for yourself because it starts to lower the heart rate and calm the body right because we're trying to unplug in the evening but since we're talking about morning rituals and how to be successful, what do successful entrepreneurs do, those high performers? They tap into the physical body too. The part that I love, and I personally include, but a lot of people like Oprah, Grant, Gary Vee, Mr. Robbins, all of them, what they do is affirmations or incantations, call them whatever you want, but they actually speak what they want to condition in themselves and into their future. Right, And so they might talk about their I am statements, which I love to do first thing in the morning is I am caring, I am powerful, I am helpful, I am loving, I am gracious, I am curious. Right, And so what is it for you? you? Some people, they like to speak their future as if it's already happened. So for example, I think Kyle Cease calls it a Calego, but you know, it's like I remember I would sit there and say, I remember when I was $40,000 in debt almost, I was eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to get by, I didn't even have a job, I was broke, and then all of a sudden I got into network marketing and I started having some success and then I wanted to go professional coaching and I did and I went to events and fed my brain and I'm the love of my life, we had kids, we built our home, we're, we're crushing it in business, it's like, and here I am today, all right? Now you would wanna go in a little bit more detail, but what's that doing? It's kind of like visualization. It's telling the unconscious mind this progressive success that you've had. Now I would go a lot further down the line, like, all right, I have, I'm giving away a hundred million dollars every year to charities, this charity and that charity, and I see the kid's face and, and going deeper in that. And that's part of the physical body. So what you wanna do is you wanna take time and write out your spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical bodies and write out what are you going to do for each one and again some of them cross pollinate right you're gonna you might have some that say okay i'm going to meditate that's spiritual and that's mental right i'm going to go into gratitude and that's great but you want to get clear i want you to write out what is your ritual and i would love for you guys to comment below and tell me what your ritual is because the more people who comment guess what the more we can pull from each other we can be able to tap in so let me share with you my morning ritual and then three variations, okay? Because I think this is really important. So first thing in the morning, what I like to do is go get a green drink, right? I wanna get the energy pulsing through my body. I wanna turn the circuitry on. I wanna feel good, right? Because I need as much energy throughout the day so that I can achieve and help clients and be there for my family and feel great. And so I get a green drink first thing in the morning. From there, I head out to the gym. I, I love going to the gym first thing in the morning. I wake up about 4.25 in the morning most days so that I can get a jump start before anyone else. I'll pray on the way to the gym. I'll also listen to audiobooks or whatever it is that I, what goals I'm focused on at that time. I'll listen to things related to that because that's huge. And so I tapped into the spiritual. I go to the gym. I'm working out. I'm doing the mental body by listening. After I work out, I come home. From there, I take a shower. I put some music on. I do my affirmations. I might even do my affirmations when I'm running at the gym. Now, I'll do it a little bit. I'll do it quietly, but the intensity is the key, right? Like that's more of an incantation where you're bringing the intensity intensity so you're wiring it within your neurology and in your body so I do that and then from there I get clear on what am I looking to achieve for the day what are the biggest RPAs revenue producing activities for the day that's going to help me feel like I've been productive and not just busy and once I have that 
I get to enjoy my family, I get to go work with clients, and I get to knock it out of the park. From there, I like to have a variation of my morning ritual. Now, why is that? Because, well, guess what? We love to travel as a family. My son, his first year and a half of life, he was on 87 flights. Now, that's connecting flights, but 87, that's still a lot, right? And so, he's no stranger to flying. However, when we travel somewhere, I need to modify my workout because the morning routine isn't about how long you do it, the duration, right, in which you do it, it's the frequency and how often you do it. So I wanna stay consistent with that, building that habit, but I just might take the duration down. So I may work out for five minutes, do burpees, work out, I might find a YouTube video, a five, 10 minute workout, do it right in the, the, um, the hotel room or the, you know, the little gym area that that hotel might have if they even have one, right? I might go into two minutes of gratitude, pray on my way to the gym, right? Throw on some music while I'm in the shower and boom, Within 20 minutes, I have my whole morning routine knocked out when I'm traveling. And so you may need to create one if you travel or you're going to families for the holidays, you might need to create a new routine, but keep the, the things that you do, the spiritual, the mental, emotional, and physical, keep it intact so you're consistent with that habit, right? And then the last thing is, you got to change up your morning routine because guess what? Your morning ritual, if you're gonna be able to do it day in and day out, it's gonna kinda get boring. You need some variety. So maybe you wanna change the sequence in what you do it. So instead of going to the gym right away, maybe you do meditation right away and your gratitude. Then last, you go to the gym. And, or you may wanna change up how you do those things. So maybe you don't go to the gym, maybe you go for runs instead, right? But you push yourself. Right? Instead of doing gratitude, maybe you write down all the great memories that you've had in this last week. Right? Things that you're excited about that's up and coming, right? Like you're going on a trip or your investment portfolio doing this or your YouTube channel growing, whatever that is. So I like to create some variation in my morning routine or my morning rituals so that it just doesn't get boring, right? Because at times we just get bored doing the same thing over and over. We're creatures of habit, but yeah, we get bored of it. So maybe you wanna to start to look at every month or every three months changing up your morning routine that feels in alignment with you, that feels exciting and it kind of turns you on. Because remember, we're about creating this mentality of doing what most people aren't willing to do so that you can have the success that you wanna have. And I really believe if you wake up early, you can tap into that energy and you'll feel more accomplished before other people wake up for the day. So if you wanna be successful, a high performing uh, entrepreneur or business owner, you wanna do the things that they're doing and not what the masses are doing. So with that, I'm gonna encourage you to take some time Pause this video, stop this video, write out your morning routine, the spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, the things you might do within those areas, they might cross pollinate and that's great. And that's what we may want if we need to shorten up the time because maybe you don't have a lot of time in the morning, but you, you know you need to have this ritual so that you're playing more offense and all circuits are on and you're ready to go, baby. And so that's the point of these morning rituals. So with that, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, please comment. What are your rituals or what did you decide to do or are you going to do or what do you do? And share it so we can get some good ideas and pick and choose from each other. And most importantly, subscribe because we are doing three videos a week on the areas of personal development, relationships, so you can have that love and passion in your life. Even if you're single, we'll teach you how to be able to find this great partner. And then also business and finances. How do we tap in and maximize and really get to that next level in those areas of our life. So with that, I'm Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button and share this video if you found it valuable. See you guys. Bye-bye.